Today I'm going to shoot a holiday beauty image with my favorite color. And I'm going to use DIY styling to make it look as if my model Kenzie is wrapped as a Christmas present. Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here and happy holidays. I love creating images with red. Red on red on red, monochromatic, it's one of my go-tos. And so pretty much every holiday season, I make sure to create a holiday image with this theme. And so this year I was doing a shoot with Kenzie and we decided why not make some holiday content together. And so this is the concept we came up with. In fact, these are just things I had laying around the studio. The little uh, bulbs in her ears are things I use to decorate a little Christmas tree I have upstairs. The ribbon was something I had left over from a different shoot. The uh, larger ribbon across her chest, that's something that I got at, I think, Kmart a couple of years ago for a Christmas decoration. And so all of these things we've cobbled together for DIY styling. But of course, the most important part is the concept. So Kenzie's beautiful and we wanted to do something that looked like she had been wrapped as a Christmas present. Now, one of the things I love as well is this gorgeous hair and makeup. All of these things come together for this really festive and elevated beauty shoot. Now, uh, let's talk about all the red elements. Obviously the red lip, the red styling, and we have a red background. This is the Savage Universal Primary Red. This is my go-to red. The reason I love this is that I can uh, make it look deep, almost like a burgundy red when it's unlit. Now, many people ask me how I achieve such saturated reds in my shoot, and they wonder what's done in Photoshop or what's done in camera. And my main tip for everybody is don't overlight your red backgrounds. When you throw bright lights on it or a main light is spilling on that red, it washes out and it tends to look a little bit orange. It loses its richness. So actually underlighting it is how you make it look saturated, almost a blood red. And that's what we're going to do here. So for this shot, I'm going to be using a single strobe. I've got a Profoto D2 with a white beauty dish and a grid. Now the grid is really important because the grid creates a faster fall off of light. In other words, the light from the beauty dish won't reach the background. Remember what I just said, you achieve a saturated red when the background is under lit. And so by allowing it to fall a little bit to shadow, that's how I get these super saturated colors. So I've got that beautiful styling, that single light, that red background, and then it's all about getting the right angles and the right expression. So uh, for this beauty shot, I'm going to grab a beauty lens. I'm going to be shooting with the Canon R5 and the Canon RF 70 to 200 2.8. This is a fantastic beauty lens. And by the way, if you have the EF and not the RF, the RF is much more compact and it's much lighter weight, which makes it much easier to work with if you have a long shooting day. So I love it and I've been grabbing it a lot more often because of this size and weight difference. Okay, so got all the beautiful elements together. I'm gonna grab my camera, grab that lens, and make the shot. Okay, so can you turn a little bit this way? Chin strong onto me and soft lips, beautiful. a single light, a red background, and DIY styling for a festive holiday image. Now don't forget, you should always plan ahead for the holiday time because these images are great for holiday cards, self-promotion, marketing, social media, and timely content is always valuable. So think ahead next year and remember, it doesn't have to be expensive, but it's all about your concept. Now I just wanted to remind you that since it is the holiday season, it's a giving season, you should check some of the information in the description below because I am doing a holiday giveaway. So if you want some freebies and some extras, be sure to check that out. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your year and a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you next year. Bye.